The other occupation that we see a lot of Chinese going into is cooking. And one of the reasons for this is the railroad needed to have restaurants to feed the general population traveling on the trains. So oftentimes the railroad owned the land on the side of the railroad, leased it or sold it to the Chinese who would then agree to open a restaurant that would serve not only the passengers but the crew. Now why would you want a Chinese restaurant to eat at? because the food in general was very good. And one of the reasons why the food was very good is because the Chinese farmers were growing fresh fruits and vegetables that pr they would provide to the Chinese cooks. So instead of getting canned meats or stew or something like that, you actually had fresh vegetables and fresh food to eat. When you hear the Chinese gong, you think of China, the Chinese, and Chinese culture. And that's what the Railroad Museum has tried to present in their exhibit here about the history of the Chinese workers in Nevada's railroads. And this exhibit will be here until December of 2005. So I hope that you'll have the opportunity to come not only to this museum, but also to the other museums throughout the state because it gives you a context of the historical past. It has wonderful artifacts like this gong, which of course the Chinese love to play as part of their recreation and their love for music. And you'll find other instruments here that the Chinese had and you can actually touch some of these instruments. So visit your local museum visit the ones that are throughout the state and enjoy the experience. It's a learning experience and it's a lot of fun. I guarantee it. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Exploring Nevada on television. But if you'd like to ride these rails and explore Nevada's rich railroad heritage for yourself, come visit the Nevada State Railroad Museum in Carson City. Besides taking a train ride, Visitors can see a wide collection of historic rolling stock from the V&T and other Nevada railroads. The museum also offers a regular lecture series and special events. The museum is located on Highway 395, a mile south of the state capitol. For more information, call 775-687-6953 or visit them on the web at nevadaculture.org. For accommodations and other special attractions in the state capital region, check out TravelNevada.net. Besides the Nevada State Railroad Museum, the Nevada Division of Museums and History operates six other museums around the state, including the State Museum in Carson City, East Ely Depot Museum in Ely, Lost City Museum at Lake Mead, the State Museum and Historical Society in Las Vegas, the Historical Society in Reno, and under construction, an historic tourist railroad in Boulder City. See you next time on Exploring Nevada. Oh, come on. Come on.